Hey, good evening. This is Judy Young. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Uh, if you're coming back to it, welcome again. Good to see you again. Um, today, uh, I'm going to talk about how we cannot do anything by ourselves. I mean, we could try, but we won't be fruitful. Like John 15, 4 through 8 says, um, If you abide in me, this is God, of course. If you abide in me and I in you, as a branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. The Lord says, I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and is withered, and they gather them and throw them into, into the fire, and they are burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, so you will, so you will be my disciples. So, what can we do without God? Nothing. <laughs> So, uh, it is best to stay in communication with God, always pray, uh, which is the communication that we have with God, um, and He communicates with us uh, generally through, of course, His Word, and for others, of course, through dreams, visions, um, and the still small voice that some people can hear um, or just know. And um, so, yes, we cannot do anything without him. If we are trying to reach people to him, obviously we are not going to be able to do it without him because... Um, we're just powerless. <laughs> I mean, yes, he gives us a little bit of power, you know, you know, through our actions and our words, but we cannot touch the hearts of people like the Holy Spirit can and God. So, you know, what better way to get to people is to have God on your side and to to keep him um like at the forefront of your work because uh, it is for him um, and not for ourselves. So, so like branches, they cannot bear fruit. We cannot bear fruit without abiding or, you know, staying close in close relationship with the Father. And that's by reading his word daily as as much time as we can. Um, because I know, you know, you know, we're busy, but we must take time for the Lord in order to grow ourselves and to help others as well. We cannot, we cannot share what we don't know. And so, and, you know, in conclusion, we have to stay close to him so we can, uh, reach as many people as we can and bear much fruit. So, hope this blessed you. Um, please take, uh, you know, try to do this every day. And it'll help you out in your ministry or um, any kind of work that you're trying to do for the Lord. And um, so your work won't be in vain. And so, so it'll be much fruitful, like he said in the beginning. I know it, it's not about this, but he said, go and um, multiply. But in this case, of course, is multiply um, or bear much fruit. Well, anyways, uh, thank you for listening. Uh, God bless you. And stay safe. Um, 
I'll be praying for you if you want. Um, I could pray for you if you could leave it on the comments. Or you can uh, message me um, from wherever you're looking through. Um, I'll try to post the email that you could email me to. So you can get in contact with me and I'll start praying for you and interceding for you for whatever um, it is that you need or that you're struggling with. Because, I mean, let's face it, we all struggle with something and we all need help, um, even if we don't admit it sometimes or most of the time. <laughs> but, um, but yes, um, uh, please keep praying for my ministry so I can grow and um, help as many people as I can. Um, this is the mission. This is my mission uh, from God. And, of course, worldwide. Um, everybody's mission should be this. But, of course, not everybody uh, chooses to, to do the work of the Lord. Anyways, um... Yeah, so good night and or good morning wherever you're whenever you're watching this from wherever you are. Um and yes, God bless you and until my next video. Bye.